Snapchat absolutely crushed their earnings report that came after hours today on October 20th. Today is Tuesday, and you can see in the after hours, they're up over 18%. It's been bouncing up and down a little bit. Uh, they peaked as high as 3421, uh, up about 20% after hours, which is absolutely insane. They absolutely crushed their earnings report of today. They were expected around a four to five cent loss uh, per share, but they actually ended up coming out on top in the green at about a cent uh, of profit per share and they had absolutely insane revenue they have great projections now going forward they're expecting even further growth into the q4 um, of 2020 and even uh, further going ahead snapchat has a lot of very very good things going on for it right now and in this video today we're going to be talking about just what the snapchat earning beat uh, meant today what it means going forward for the rest of tech earning season um, and if now's a great time to get into a bunch of tech stocks or if now's a time you should maybe be a little bit wary obviously none of this is financial advice or anything these are just kind of my documentations my thoughts and opinions on some stuff uh, that we're gonna be going through but before we get in this one I should mention real quick if you're not already subscribed definitely click that subscribe button really quick uh, it helps you guys stay up to date on all my latest content and it helps me out a ton as well so it's really a great deal for the both of us also check out the link in the description below uh, for Robinhood if you guys would like to receive a free stock just for signing up with that being said here we go getting right into today's video which is again talking a little bit about the crazy tech earnings that are going on right now obviously this has been an absolutely insane year for the stock market um, we've had coronavirus covid stuff absolutely crashing the market absolutely tanking it we had an insane quarter two earning season from tech uh, where they've seen these amazing uh, just growth and upward projections and upward beats uh, pretty much for the entire year which has been absolutely insane a lot of people talking about tech bubble tech speculation robin hood investors retail investing all this crazy stuff um, but headed into the quarter three earnings report some people are really really excited there's a lot of absolutely insane expectations on some of these tech companies and if they're able to beat this uh, the stock market's going to go crazy especially these tech stocks um, but some people definitely believe that some of these expectations are way too high there's no way they're going to reach these numbers um, and quarter three could be you know kind of a bloodbath or kind of a, a step back in a way for the overall stock market and even just uh, some of these tech stocks in general but today we got some of the first really really big earnings reports um, we did have have snapchat who again was projected to be at about a four to five cent loss expected and they did actually um, as you can see here they posted a, a one cent profit uh, versus an expected loss of five cents um, per also their revenue was 679 million their global daily active users 249 million um, which is really really crazy the company's total net loss fell to 200 million which is down 12 percent from last year which is a very very nice stride for the company obviously um, they were up nearly 4% from the daily active users and they could they project that they're going to be able to continue the growth in those regards. Snapchat expects uh, year over year revenue growth of 47 to 50% for the fourth quarter as well. So uh, they did beat earnings in quarter three, but then again, also a very, very favorable projection put Snapchat in potentially a really, really good spot for a continuation heading into tomorrow and even into the next weeks and months, as long as the stock market as a whole doesn't, uh, you know, start to tank or anything crazy happen. Uh, you never know with COVID stuff and the election and all that. Um, but Snapchat's in a very, very good position. They are a company with an awesome grip on young people. Millennials have a very, very high uh, user rate of Snapchat. Also, even into Gen Z is a very, very big user base for Snapchat. Also, they have a lot of favorable things going on with people beginning to boycott um, advertising on places like Facebook. Um, those advertisers need to go somewhere, especially when they're trying to reach the younger markets. And a lot of them, apparently, as you can see in the revenue um, and the earnings and everything, are headed to Snapchat. And that's a very, very good sign who knows if that's going to be sustainable or not if people are going to eventually work their way back to facebook if it's just a phase or whatever um, but again snapchat having a hold on that younger demographic younger market is very very valuable and they've also been finding more and more ways to incorporate advertisements uh directly into their app and stuff um, to hopefully be able to make some more money. So Snapchat's in a really, really interesting spot. Uh, I definitely am going to be holding Snapchat going forward into the future long term. Um, but even in the short term, they are uh, in a really, really good position for a continuation. I'm curious to see what they're going to do tomorrow throughout the day and even into the next week and couple of months. But that does not mean, um, again, just because we had a favorable um, earnings report from 
Snapchat today, that doesn't mean, oh, look, tech's doing so good this earnings season. We need to get into as many tech things as we can, just like the last earnings season, because Netflix had their earnings report today as well. And as you can see, they are not doing as well. They are down 5% after hours. Um, they did not uh, beat their earning expectation. They were expected at a round $2.13 per share. They actually came in $1.74 per share. Um, this is the third straight earnings that they have missed, that they have underperformed on, um, which isn't great. Obviously, uh, Netflix is still seeing amazing, amazing growth. They're up 5% uh, in the last month. Um, and they're flat over the last three months, um, but that's obviously with uh, today them dropping a lot, but they've been really, really up and down. Netflix is in a weird spot where obviously as people are uh, staying home, quarantining more, um, you're going to see Netflix kind of increasing in user base and people watching it and the people spending money on it and stuff. Um, but how sustainable is that? And Netflix also has a ton of competition in the streaming kind of service space um, where uh, as quarantine starts to tick down and stuff, um, you know, is Netflix going to be able to hold on to these insane numbers they've been putting up and stuff? Uh, so you do have to be a little bit wary because it's not just as easy as, you know, tech stocks killed it in quarter two. They're going to kill it again in quarter three. They're going to kill it again going forward because at some point this is going to have to hit a peak. Um, certain companies are going to be just have way too high of expectations and certain companies are going to be kind of under expect expectations. So definitely a, an interesting strategy is to look for those companies who maybe their people are not expecting such high things on that people are little kind of sleeping on and stuff. Um, maybe not always looking for the so obvious ones um, because obviously Netflix was a little over projected um, and they're kind of bleeding after hours. Um, they're obviously a very, very strong company that I would assume is most likely going to bounce back. Um, I don't think they'll just continue to bleed uh, in the next coming weeks and months, but they definitely could. Who knows? Again, a lot of people are speculating this is a tech bubble um, that we're due for sharp declines. Um, but these are some of the biggest tech companies and some of the biggest overall companies in the world. Um, so some people would argue that they're safe bets uh, in the medium to long term as well. But it is interesting that we had two um, major, major tech companies uh, with earnings today, and they had very, very opposite tails. So it is definitely a time where some money can be made. There are definitely some companies killing it. And as we go forward into the tech uh, earnings season, we have some really, really big players coming up in the coming weeks. Obviously, there's stuff like Microsoft, Apple, you know, the, the real big guys coming up. Um, and some of these earnings uh, reports were maybe a telltale sign into how well those companies are going to be doing as well if tech continues to run. Um, but so far, we're getting some mixed signals and it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Again, Netflix did miss on its quarter two earnings as well. So I wouldn't say that this necessarily means that all the big tech companies are going to miss or underperform in, in quarter three. And a lot of people are wrong about that. Um, but I just did think it was really, really interesting that Snapchat was able to kill it by so much uh, and Netflix was underperforming so much. But yeah, I'm definitely looking at uh, Snapchat as being a continuation um, in the next coming days. And I think it could be an interesting time to maybe get in on a company that I think is going to be in a really, really good spot going forward for the long term. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. Doing a little bit something different on this channel, trying to get into stock, financial news type stuff, all of that. Um, so hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below. Um, what do you guys think about the tech earnings season? What are some plays you guys are looking at going forward? What are you guys doing about Snapchat, Netflix, any of that? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the latest content. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.